Yeah, he met her. I know, she's way. always going to move he's, me around. He needs to be, so I want to make sure he's in the video. So For those who are married, the woman's always pushing me around. I'm just Ooh. kidding. Say, this is, you know, we're going to try to touch base about our year, what we did, why we're here, yeah. and Saturday and Sunday will be. I woke up feeling on top of the world. Like nothing's ever gonna bring me down This feeling got me flying high as a bird I may never touch the ground It may not be my birthday But I just wanna celebrate Today we are coming from Adventureland Park. We're just going to tell you a little bit about our experience overall. I get done Friday, no. or Saturday, excuse me. I get done Saturday, <laughs> she gets done on Sunday, and then we move on to uh, Michigan. We're going to do the sugar beet harvest. Can't wait to do it. We've talked about doing that forever. But anyway, we just want to hit on some things that were good this year that we enjoyed. I enjoyed working here. I love seeing kids have fun. People have fun. Adults are okay. <laughs> We're trying to make it easier for you. See, we can't even make up our minds yet. <laughs> so as we're learning how to vlog, it is... It's way different than just doing a regular video, right? Yeah, it, 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 it is, is way different. and. We tend to overthink things, so we're going to try to do our best. Or like me, I can't think of things until it's too late. Over. It's like, <laughs> okay, my brain just kicked in and I forgot what I was going to say, <laughs> or it shut off. I have no idea, but anyway, so it's what, a beautiful, beautiful day right here, right now. So what we're going to start at is Ed is going to tell you a little bit about his job, what the responsibilities are. My responsibilities, well, I work at Adventureland at the park. I do rides and I do, uh, I assist on rides also. So we try to make things good for people to have fun. Mine, I love seeing the kids have a fantastic time. And they, uh, and then, oh, what was it, Sunday? Oh no. On the Sorry, last ride I was on, no, the last ride <laughs> I was on, which will be gone next year, but anyway, I had some kids come up and give me a hug because they just, I enjoyed them. And it was, it's been a wonderful year, but it's gone way too fast. Yeah. It seems like we haven't done everything we wanted to do, but our main thing, we were here for family, which was is great. We didn't get to see them as much as we would like to have, but you know, everybody that's got kids or family, you know, everybody has their own things. To do and they're busy and we were busy as well. Right. I was uh, front desk at the hotel one day a week and in the campground office for three days a week. So overall I really enjoyed my job. Met a lot of amazing people coming lot, into the oh, park. We made a lot made a lot of good friends too. We've made a lot of good friends. Um, we plan on leaving with some of them and going to our next job. And then the others were unfortunately gonna have to leave behind, hopefully see them on the road somewhere, or work with them again next year here at Adventureland. For the most part, I do believe everybody's returning that I talk to, but you know, right. things can change throughout the winter. You know, better opportunities could come along, you know. Mm -hmm. Yep, or they just want to be in a different place, not necessarily in Iowa. They have another opportunity coming right. up. Right. understand but I would say that I and I think you would also agree that I would recommend coming working here at Adventureland. Oh yeah in a heartbeat. Yeah. I mean give it a try. Yeah. It's not for everybody just like every job that you have out there it is not for everyone but we liked it 
And sometimes it's what you make out of the job yourself. Well, like a job, you know, there's the good and the bad and the ugly. <laughs> but it's been, overall, it's been a great year yeah, at has. this park. It's yeah. been good. So we have signed up for next year, coming back. So who knows? We're hoping some of you may see this and want to come to Iowa for this opportunity. It would be hey. great to meet up with you. Just got to try it. You know, I, I didn't think when I first got here, well, I should say she didn't think I would do it, but <laughs> it turned out I had, I loved it. I had a great time. Yeah, because um, you never know. I mean, you, it's That's what's great about the RV lifestyle is you're able to try the different things and to come here, we just didn't know what to expect. We had read reviews. People that loved it have been coming back for years. We've read reviews where people haven't lasted the entire season because they didn't care for it. Right. Um, so, I mean, it just, it depends on who you are and what your expectations are. Just come and try it. Give it right. a shot. I mean, what's it going to hurt? If you don't like it, don't come back can, again next you year. You can pack up and find something else to do. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. You know, like uh, they say, do we need to call one more? Do we need to tell me? We're How's, trying to get this set up. We that? have issues major issues <laughs> yes it just it's hard it's um, different it is very different so what we're going to talk about now is next year for the work camper program they have increased our hourly pay by a percentage based on what department you're in and also they have like currently they have an end of season bonus if you stay through Oktoberfest which is the Saturday you get a bonus not only do you get a bonus for your site but you get a bonus for all hours worked and they've got that based on if you work excuse me so many hours six, if you work 600 hours or more you get a dollar an hour for every, every hour, hour worked. worked but then there's a step down to 75 cents and, and then I believe cents. is it 50 or 25 Yeah, I know. She's looking at me like, you're weird. <laughs> so anyway, but next year you get a beginning of the season bonus. And then if you come in at a certain date, then you get paid in July for that. And then you also get the end of season bonus as well. And then they've changed your bonus for how many hours you work based on a percentage versus like a dollar an hour if you've worked over 600 so right. it's a better option for us as work campers we get a little bit more an hour plus we get our bonuses which is going to be fantastic for next year but so now we're sitting in the campground we're just kind of moving to different areas to talk with you about the experience uh, i'm going to recommend it you're going to yep. recommend oh, yeah. it yeah yep. i think the opportunity is great no it's not a ton of money you're not here quickly to make a quick buck and move on like some seasonal jobs this is the host season but you also get your campground for campground site for free and, yep all that's included so you mm -hmm. don't have no no payment there so no that helps there. yeah um it's a nice campground too so i'm gonna have ed talk about the campground so i'm gonna cut it here and let him talk about the campground nope nope not gonna do it Talk to the hand. <laughs> so the campground is a nice campground. Uh, over half of it this season was were campers. The rest were extended campers, which are people in the area working on projects as, such as Facebook. And then the rest are weekend campers. It is a full service campground. It has um, different site types, but every site except the van section are full hookup. They have bath shower houses, laundry rooms, pool, recreation center. Um, what else did I forget? You know what I'm thinking of right now? Oh no. The weather is so perfect sitting here. <laughs> a nap. I could just lay down like the old oh times. God. Give me a blanket, I'll take a nap. Uh. Yes. It's and so we have quiet. so it is very quiet it's very and the quiet temperature right is perfect but we have things that we have to do today like right and like what 
I don't know. We need to be road ready. We've gotten a lot of the stuff done the outside of the RV. Now I think we need to kind of think about what is the next step of packing up. Well, we've been packing for about the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's not much more to do. No, and, and we're saying packing the last two weeks. No, we don't have a whole bunch of junk. We just been slowly, things that we're not going to use, we've been putting away and going through things, purging, that type of stuff. So no, we, we don't travel with a full so RV. We're gonna co close it right here and we're gonna continue walking a little bit farther in the campground. And we're gonna show you an area where they're gonna have the resident, rena, 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 renaissance fair. Resident renaissance. You can't even say it. Renaissance fair next year here wow. at Altoona. Is that a tongue twister or what? <laughs> All right, we're going to show you where we're going. Yep, there's Dora, all in her glory. Yep, so back here, we just walked a little bit. This is the area the Ren Renaissance Fair is going to be starting next year. There, this is rumored. Yeah, they'll have it over there and there's going to be some type of a bridge coming from the main park over there we go you ah. got it on i'll yeah, try it, it hold. is on yeah try to hold it up please oh look at that hey who's that so. all right we are going to conclude this video by just saying if you need more information about Adventureland Park, we're going to leave a link below. Otherwise, go to AdventurelandResort.com. You can find out more information about the Work Camper Program because we sure enjoyed our summer. Well, I know they're going to need more help for next year because mm -hmm. we've got 10 new rides coming in. Right. And also the Renaissance Fair that we showed. And in the background, you can hear them. They're kind of already working at Adventureland, getting some of the rides that um, they're taking out to replace with new. They're getting them out of here. Yeah, the Fallen Stars leaving, the uh, Lucky Lady, and the Lighthouse. Right, right. So, look at that. <gasps> oh, she's trying to push my arm up. <laughs> it's getting heavy. It does get heavy very yeah. quick. So, we're going to conclude it here. Um, not really sure where we're going to go on our next video because we're getting wrapped up here and getting on the road. We're definitely going to show you we have made ourselves a, um, a goal of we're going from Altoona, Iowa to Bay City, Michigan and we want to spend zero dollars on campground fees. Ought to be interesting. <laughs> well anyway Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Until next time, we love you.